People like games. What up, people? It's Solo, and welcome to the Mancala Speed Run. This is going to be a slightly shorter episode than usual because there was not a whole lot of information that I was able to glean on the origin or even the sort of evolution of how it sort of moved to different places. Um, but the game's origins do take us back to 6th century Ethiopia, where archaeologists found the earliest physical evidence of the game and dated it to about 6th century, which popular time for game making because I think apparently chess was made during that time too. Uh, the game, which was founded in Africa, obviously, actually comes from an Arabic term, nakala, which means to move, which means that the game, which was found in Africa, moved to the Mideast and moved over to Asia, then here eventually over to the West, but never became as popularized as other forms of board games. But it still has a huge level of popularity over in Africa, where the game or the term rather, mankala, is not actually defined as a game. It's actually a form of game, which includes two or four rows and includes the same sort of seed marble piece setup. Um, beyond that, the game actually probably came over here to the West in US in particular uh, over the course of the transatlantic slave trade, which brought people from Africa over here. Uh, and then I guess the more commercial version of it that some people might be familiar with was started in 1940 by a guy named William Julius Champion, who was a random like dude from Massachusetts who tried to like make the game popularize it. Um, and that's about the full level of information uh, that is available on how Mancala was formed and evolved. Uh, there's hundreds of forms of it that are all different and they're all forms of Mancala because Mancala is in the game. But the point being, this actual form of game is in the public domain for free. So if anybody who is listening or watching this episode has ever had any interest in making a Mancala board, technically you can make it and sell it and no one owns a copyright or trademark to it. So it's uh, for you to do. But like I said, that's all I had. Um, and I probably run over time. So I'm out of here. Peace.